call Halayim La Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah Bahashim Bakakwadash Double honor to the elders, apostles, of great millstone who will teach well over the hopeful lake. And to the hopeful lake, the house of David, the one third. This pushing this truth with all truth and sincerity and tuning into this truth throughout the four corners of the earth. Shalom. Now, um, this video is um going into how um, it's going to be titled <coughs> Left Hand Spiritual Power in Increasing Its Prophecy because this appears to be an Edomite, probably a small hat too. Um, it's talking about how Esau is building up his army, his, his, his top shooters, his top guns, all right, to come after Jacob. He's going to have these cyborgs and this left hand spiritual power, you know, which the, that cyborg technology is already a left hand spiritual power to begin with, but other things as well. That goes into the spirit on the left hand. Esau has access to those things. And that's in the scriptures. Just like the Egyptians did. Okay. And Esau is the modern day Pharaoh. And he's more uh, tapped in. Okay. Because that's his, his blessing. Which he was blessed with. Now in this video. You can just. I'm not going to link it. Just type in, you see the title, go on uh, BitChute, type in the title, it'll pop right up. It's about 30 some minutes long, 29 minutes long, something like that. Um, he He's saying how Esau, pretty much he's saying Esau has uh, all these hundreds and millions or over a hundred million, something like that. Of these demonic super soldiers on every single continent ready to be elite released to come after quote-unquote Christians and we know that's that's talking about the Israelites the 12 tribes because that's the only Christians okay uh, and that and of course just because you're an Israelite doesn't mean you're a, a Christian, you have to follow after Yahweh Shai, all right? Because Christian, the word Christ mean, is a Hamashiach, right? Which means the anointed. And then Christian is Hamashiachim, which means, you know, the follower, a follower of the anointed. So all the, in order to be a Christian, you have to be an Israelite first because Yahweh Shai only came for the Israelites. But not all Israelites can be Hamashiachim. You get what I'm saying? Because all of Israel, two-thirds will be knocked off, man. A lot of them are going to be knocked off by these demonic super soldiers. And he's saying they're they're on every continent, all right? And Jacob's trouble will be on every continent, okay? Because Jacob has been scattered into all nations, all right? So Australia, uh, Central, West, South, North, East Africa, North Central South America, all right, so, and on down, all right, Asia, all all over the earth, Jacob has been scattered, and this guy saying that whenever the call is released, these demonic super soldiers, with his left hand spiritual power, will be um released to bring in the uh, the the NWO, okay. Now, of course, this is all in prophecy, all right? Now, this guy here, uh, supposedly, after he made this video, <sighs> going into this quote-unquote Black Awakening, that's what they call it, the Black Awakening, um, he died. They, they said right afterwards he died, so maybe Esau... Was like, all right, he said too much. You know, I have to wipe him out. Who knows? All right, but what he said is according to prophecy. This is Exodus 7 and 1. And the Lord said unto Moses, See, I have made thee a god to Pharaoh, and Aaron thy brother shall be thy prophet. Thou shalt speak all that I command thee, and Aaron thy brother shall speak unto Pharaoh. That he send the children of Israel out of his land. 
all right? So Moses was, all right, an Elohim, and Aaron was a prophet to Moses, and, and, and Aaron is acting as that mediator for Moses to Pharaoh, all right? Similar to, all right, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh and us, all right? Similar. I will harden Pharaoh's heart. And multiply my signs and my wonders in the land of Egypt. But Pharaoh shall not hearken unto you. That I may lay my hand upon Egypt. And bring forth mine armies. And my people. The children of Israel. Out of the land of Egypt. By great judgments. And the Egyptians shall know that I am Yahweh, When I stretch forth. Mine hand. On Egypt and bring out the children of Israel from among them and all these nations knew about this happening man it, it, it made uh, Israel come on the map so to speak all right and this is a uh, I'm gonna skip down to verse verse 8 and Yahweh was speaking to Moses and Aaron saying when Pharaoh shall speak unto you saying shew a miracle for you then Thou shalt say unto Aaron, Take thy rod and cast it before Pharaoh, and it shall become a serpent. So they was tapping into that right hand spiritual power. This is verse 10. And Moses and Aaron went in unto Pharaoh, and they did so as Yahweh hath commanded. And Aaron cast down his rod before Pharaoh and before his servants, and it became a serpent. All right, so Aaron's rod became a serpent, all right, otherwise known as a, a snake. So he turned an inorganic matter into a living and breathing and moving organic matter, all right? Just like Yahweh said, he could uh, raise up stones or uh, rocks, I believe, stones, rocks, same thing, all right? He could raise up stones and make them alive, all right? So... Aaron is just imitating the power of the Most High. This is verse 11. Then Pharaoh also called the wise men and the sorcerers. Now the magicians of Egypt, they also did in like manner with their enchantments. So Pharaoh and these magicians, this left hand sorcery, which comes from the Most High to begin with. All right, but it's on the left hand. It's, it's wickedness. All right, it calls for wicked acts, for things to like this to happen on for uh, these heathens, and Jake too. That that's not hearkening to the Lord, and through this left hand spiritual power, it imitated the right hand. But as we keep reading, you'll see which one is stronger. For they cast down every man his rod, and they became serpents. All right, so Aaron's serpent was outnumbered. It was multiple serpents created from their rods. But Aaron's rod swallowed up their rods. So Aaron, even though his was outnumbered, it was more powerful than all these multiple left-hand uh, spiritual power combined. And he hardened Pharaoh's heart, that he hearkened not unto them as Yahweh had said. Alright, so this just goes to show you that, uh, let's get Romans 9 too. This just lets you know that, that uh, these heathen have access to a form of spiritual power. Starting with Esau, Esau outside of Jacob, has access to spiritual power more than anybody else, right? But it's on the left-hand side. Oh, the only ones that have access to that true power on the right-hand side is, is, is the Israelites. And that duality with it is uh, Esau having access to that spiritual power on a higher level than anybody else on the uh, left-hand side. Okay? <laughs> And just to make the, the point, all right, this is Romans 9, and it's going into Esau, okay? Uh, I'm going to start at verse 13. As it is written, Jacob have I loved, 
but Esau have I hated. So just because the Most High has given Esau blessings and, and spiritual power doesn't mean he loves him, right? Because here's the point right here. Just keep reading on down. Verse 14. What shall we say then? Is there unrighteousness with the Most High? The Most High forbid. For he has said to Moses, I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy. And I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion. So then it is not of him that willeth, nor of him that runneth, but of the Most High that sheweth mercy. For the scripture saith unto Pharaoh, Even for this same purpose have I raised thee up, that I might shew my power in thee, and that my name might be decl declared throughout all the earth. So Esau is the modern day Pharaoh, man. And we saw what type of power Pharaoh had access to. And Esau is going to really come down with a even higher level than that. And that's why uh, the Israelites, Yasharala, that know that they're Yasharala, that the Most High has, has hand chosen, will receive spiritual power to, to, to conquer, so to speak, that, that left hand. All right, this is Revelations 12 and 12. Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil is come down unto you having great wrath because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. So you, you Edomites are going to start a really coming down with, with your blessing from the top tier of the Edomites to these these hillbillies you're going to start you know going buck wild and the main target is going to be Jacob man that's why it's called Jacob trouble now this is um revelations <laughs> 2 all right in verse 9, I know thy works in tribulation and poverty, but thou art rich. Yeah, because the Israelites right now are under the curses. And the curses will be uh, lifted up off of the um, elect in Jacob's trouble. All right. Uh, in Jacob's trouble, the elect won't be under the, the curses anymore. Because to be under the curses in Jacob's trouble really means you're taking the sea hip, man. All right, because one of the curses, one of the main curses is to be under our enemies, starting with Esau. And, and to be under Esau and Jacob trouble means you took the, the, the paragma. All right. And like Romans, I mean, so like Jeremiah 30 and 7 on down says in the midst of Jacob's trouble. All right. Jacob will be um saved up out of it, man. Um, And the rich part is because. We're going to control the whole earth. The whole earth was made for the Israelites, for Yasharal. It wasn't made for these heathens or these animals, man. It was made for us to enjoy it. And I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. And as we know, there's only two people that are clashing to being uh, from the southern kingdom. And all uh, Jew means is... Uh, from the southern kingdom of Israel, all right? And it came about during the Babylonians, all right? And it just means to be, all right, from Judea, all right? Belonging to, all right? So that's going into the southern kingdom of Israel, all right? And Israel isn't just the southern kingdom. You have the northern kingdom and the southern kingdom. But um, the northern kingdom, after their... Um, Assyrian captivity came to the Americas, the so-called Native Americans and uh, Hispanics, so-called, all right? His God, Reuben, Ephraim, all right, on down. And um, as you can see, the ones that are calling themselves Israelites, which are the Edomites, all right? It's in the scriptures that the Edomites would take our heritage. And um, let's go into the Strongs for that word, synagogue, and then I'm going to hit up another scripture okay that lines up with revelations 2 and 9 now you go into that word synagogue which is of satan all right 
bringing together, gathering, all right, contracting in the New Testament as assembling together of men, an assembly of men, all right, uh, an assembly, a congregation of Satan, and those are the people that are pretending to be the Israelites, particularly, particularly the southern kingdom, and we know who those are, man, it's the small hats, man, those lepers over there in our land, um, now, another scripture, all right, that lines up with this is 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, all right? 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, and uh, verse 3, let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come, all right? That's the coming of the Lord, you have a shy, except there come a falling away first. And that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition, which is you Edomites, all right? Now, here's the point I wanted to get. Let's scroll down. Verse 9. And verse 9. Even, actually, verse 8. And then, and then shall that wicked be revealed, pursuant to... Um, Let's go over here so I can just line it up uh, simultaneously, man. All right, because I don't want to go back and forth with it. So this is Job 9 and 24. All right. The earth is given unto the hand of the wicked. He covers the faces of the judges thereof. What is what some judges? The Israelites. All right. Jews. Right. Right, the Most High, the angels, all right, the Lord, all right, Yahweh Shai, all right. If not, where and who is He? So who who made the, the the Heavenly Father on down these 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 lepers, man, these these so called white people? Who did that? Did, did the Moabites? Did, did the, the so called Chinese do it? Hmm. Who did it? We know who did it, man. This is, um, let's go back to, in pursuant to Malachi 1, in uh, chapter 1, verse 3, on down, it, it calls you Edomites the wicked, man. And I think uh, Ezekiel 36, or around in Ezekiel 30-something, man, let's get that too, all right? So this is how you know that these scriptures are real, man, and you Edomites are, uh, you so-called white people are the Edomites, man. You see, you can't, you see... E e these Edomites thought they was going to get away with it, man. They thought they was going to get away with, with, with destroying Israel, conquering Israel, and then acting like they're Israel, man. They thought they was going to get away with it. This is Ezekiel chapter 36 and verse 2. Thus said the Lord Yahweh, because the enemy have said, un have si have said against you, Aha, even the ancient high places are ours in our possession. Therefore prophesy and say, Thus said the Lord Yahweh, because they have made you desolate, and swallowed you up on every side, that ye might be a possession unto the residue of the heathen, and ye are taken up in the lip of talkers and are infamy of the people. All right. So this is what happened to, to, to Israel, man. Of uh, verse five. Therefore, thus saith the Lord Yahweh: Surely in the fire of my jealousy have I spoken against the residue of the heathen, and against all Idumia, which is the Edomites. That's the Greek way of saying Edom which have appointed my land into their possession with the joy of all their heart, with the spiteful minds to cast it out for a prey. So the, Is the Israelites don't have our land. The Edomites have our land. Who's in our land right now, man? These small hats, man. The Ish people. So let's get, um... So the Edomites have our land. And they have our heritage, man. Let's get it. Uh, I believe it's in Ezekiel. Uh, give me, hold on, give me a moment.
All right, let me go to Jeremiah 50. And um, then I'll get the other one that I wanted to get, man. Which connects you Edomites, all right, again, to Babylon, all right. This is Jeremiah 50 and 11. Because ye were glad, because ye rejoiced, O ye destroyers of mine heritage, because ye are grown fat as the heifer at grass and bellow as bulls, all right. So that's connecting you Edomites to Babylon, just like Psalms 137 just flat out says Edom is with Babylon, man. All right. I'm trying to find the one I really want to get, man. I think it was Ezekiel 38. Let me see. Nah, not, not, not 38. Let me try 35. All right, Ezekiel 35 and 10. I'm going to start right here. Because thou hast said, these two nations, the northern and southern kingdom of Israel, and these two countries shall be mine, and, I, and we will possess it, whereas Yahweh was there. All right. Verse 15. Now, this is the point I wanted to get, man. As thou didst rejoice... At the inheritance, at the inheritance of the house of Israel, because it was desolate. All right, I'm gonna stop right there. So the Edomites ha has the inheritance of the Israelites, just like how it says they have our land. All right, and our inheritance is what being the Israelites, man, having um the scriptures. So now that we made that point that the Edomites took our, our heritage, let's go back to 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 that lines up with the, all right, uh, Revelations 2 and 9, all right? This is 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 and uh, verse 8. And uh, like we read Job 9, 24, the earth is given to the hand of the wicked. And it's only two nations <laughs> that was blessed to control the earth, man. Jacob and Esau. So. All fingers and in time prophecy points at you, the Edomites being the rulers, all right, and uh, having the, in, the heritage of Jacob, okay, so there's no getting around it. And Edomites are still here to this day pursuing the, the book of Obadiah and many, many other, all right, verses in the scriptures. This is Second Thessalonians chapter 2 and verse 9, even him who's coming is after the working of Satan with all power, right? So that left hand power is going to be at the max level, man. All right? Esau's coming with that left hand power on the utmost level. It ain't going to get any higher than that. What's coming, man? Because he was given with all power. Do you know Call L from Superman means all power? Did you know that? With all power. And signs and lying wonders. So this person, uh, Second Thessalonians chapter two is talking about lines up with Revelation chapter two, which lines up with everything else I just broke down, man. Which is you Edomites, you so-called white people, man. You see, what's gonna happen is that these elites are gonna crash everything. They're gonna it's gonna be a systematic arm, not systematic Armageddon, a systematic apocalypse man they're gonna crash everything to bring in their nwo all right and um as this is happening they're going to try to exterminate 
the Israelites, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. They're going to try to get rid of us. And because they know the elites, they know. And even these these hillbillies, man, sub, subconsciously, they understand what's going on, man. They understand. Even if they don't, like I seen this video of this Edomite, man, real redneck Edomite, man, trucker hat, that weird, uh, like, uh, what is it called, a goatee, like, you know how them, them country Edomites have them goatees, but it's like cut off at the bottom of their chin, where it got no chin hair, it's just like a extra long mustache that go down, you see, you know what I'm talking about, with a trucker hat, you know what I'm saying, I think he had like overalls on, real country looking Edomite, man. You got a simple, simple Negro, man, come in, want to hug him and saying, why do you hate me? And he hugging him. He like, why do you hate me? You know what I'm saying? He crying, hugging him. Why do you hate me? He, I think it was like one of them BLM rallies or whatever. And then this, 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 this Edomite, he over there just stern face, man. And he's like, I don't know why I hate you. I don't know. You know why? Because it's literally in a spirit to hate Jacob, man. And these, these, these ignorant, you see, not only are our people ignorant, these Edomites are ignorant, man, except these top tier ones that know, right? Don't, don't get it twisted. Now with all this, uh, you know, with this, this, this Kanye and Kyrie thing, these Edomites are starting to realize, you know, that we are the children of Israel. But for the most part, as a collective group, they don't understand, man. They think we're just some some Hamites, man, they think we're Hamites, and we're just a no people, and they're going to be in a rude awakening when this, when this, this spiritual power rises up, man, on the left hand and the right, but especially on the right hand, because they're, they're, Edomite's worst nightmare is 100% a so-called black man with more power than them, man, that's their worst nightmare, and it's, and that their worst nightmare is actual reality, man, okay, now let's get um first John chapter five. I'm finna wrap this up too, alright. This is first John chapter five and um Verse 19, and we know that we are the most high, we are of the most high, and the whole world lieth in wickedness. So if you're not a part of this truth, all right, really, if, you, if you're not part of the elect, man, all right, you're lying in wickedness. That's point blank, period. And you got to realize the majority of people are losers, man. It doesn't matter how rich they are. It doesn't matter how much status they got. It doesn't matter if they blue pill, red pill, 6-2, jacked, whatever. They're losers, man. They're, they're going to lose. Because when, when, when this society crumbles more and more, all right, even being rich when it's hyperinflation, you're just going to be a target to get robbed, man. So... The only people that's really, the people that's going to have a last laugh is the elect, right? Starting with Yahweh Shah, because Yahweh Shah was the first elect, man. Let's get that word elect. This is Isaiah 54 and 4. For Jacob is my servant's sake, and Israel mine elect. I have I have even called thee by thy name. I have surnamed thee, though thou hast not known me. All right. And every brother that came in the truth, all right, was you know that's a part of the elect. They they didn't know. All right, they was chosen before they even knew, man. Uh, let's get the strongs on that word elect. Chosen, chosen one. Who was chosen first? Yeah, well, Shah was chosen first, man. Now let's go. I'm gonna end this off in Revelations 13.
is Revelations 13 and um and 3. Now this lines up what we just read in 1 John. And I saw one of his heads as it were wounded to death. And that's going into the Roman Empire. Alright. And his deadly wound was healed. Yeah, the Roman Empire, the revised Roman Empire started with the Renaissance. Alright. That's the whole point of the Renaissance. The, they, 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 these Edomites even tell you, man. They say, uh, you go to the Renaissance, is learning all the ancient science and theologies and so on and so forth that they lost from the Roman Empire. And that's why, and that's another reason why they don't even talk about the Dark Ages. Why don't they talk about the Dark Ages? Because that was a thousand years of the Southern Kingdom of Israel ruling in uh, Europe and in, in Asia, man. Anglo-Saxons, which means the angelic sons of Isaac, England, the land of the angels, man. All right, the the Franks and on down, those were all so-called black people, man. And it's not even that big of a secret, to be honest with you. They just don't tell you over here in America. You go in Europe, those castles. Oh yeah, and these in in them castles, man. They got they got statues and artwork and all types of uh, artifacts of of, of, of so called black men. Okay, um, and all the world wondered after the beast. All right, all these nations are uh, w have been wondering, have have been flocking after Babylon the Great, which is the revised Roman Empire. Right, which is the United States of America, and the greatest, uh, not I wouldn't say even battle, so to speak, because that greatest battle will be Armageddon, Armageddon. All right, when all these uh, nations bounce up into um our land to get slaughtered, that's really gonna be the greatest battle, man, because yeah, how is I gonna pull up? But you know, the greatest deliverance, all right. Uh, Jacob, all right, the, the elect out here flexing, all right, will be in Babylon the Great, all right. Let's get that too. Let's get that. Um, I think it's Isaiah 47. Isaiah 47 and uh, verse 1. Come down and sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon. Sit on the ground, there is no throne, O daughter of the Chaldeans, for thou shalt no more be called tender and delicate. Uh, now that we know that, let's keep going down. Uh, verse 6, I was wroth with my people, I have polluted mine inheritance. Alright. Verse 12, stand now with thine enchantments and with the multitude of thy sorceries. So that's that left hand spiritual power, man. That's the spirit right there, but that's not what I wanted. Let's go to, uh, I know it's for sure one in Micah. Micah 4. But it's another one too. I think it's I think it's in Jeremiah. This is a uh, Micah four and ten. Be in pain, and labor to bring forth, O daughter of Zion, like a woman in travail. For now shall thou go forth out of the city, and thou shalt dwell in the field, and thou shalt go even to Babylon. All right, and it's talking about all of Israel. That's why I said the daughter of Zion. There in the northern kingdom wasn't under Nebuchadnezzar, man. That's how you notice know talking about Babylon the Great, man. There shall thou be delivered. There Yahweh shall redeem thee from the hand of thine enemies. Now also many nations are gathered against thee that say, let her be defiled and let our eye look upon Zion. But they Know not the thoughts of Yahweh, neither understand that his understand they his counsel, for he shall gather them as the sheaves into the floor. Arise and thresh, O daughter of Zion, for I'll make 
thine horn iron, and I will make thy hooves brass, and thou shalt beat in pieces many people. So you're going to have the elect out here, man. You know, they charged up. They're going to blitz these heathens and literally just punch them, man. Their arm just going to come off, man. They're going to punch their heads off their bodies, man. They're going to do some, some roundhouse kick and literally chop a man in half. You understand? And I will consecrate, consen, consecrate, and I will consecrate their gain unto Yahweh and their substance unto the Lord of the whole earth. So we're going to get spiritual power. Lord willing, you know, we are part of that elect. We're going to get this spiritual power to fuck up um, these heathens in Babylon the Great and the whole earth. But that ultimate throwdown for us, all right, will be in Babylon the Great because that's where our ultimate re redemption will be. But it's another one that I wanted. I think it's Jeremiah 49. I think 20th, 20th verse. Let's see. Let's get 50. This is Jeremiah 50 and 33. Thus said Yahweh of hosts, the children of Israel and the children of Judah were oppressed together, man. And that's how you know it's talking about the daughter of Babylon. Uh, I'm going to just get this right here. End this off right here. And you see, when when all this 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 lip these talk all this talking, all right, all this 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 lip service, all right, and uh, the, the shit talkers, and in this in this this prideful Edomite thinking he he's on a level because of some 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 guns. Even Jake thinking he only he's on a level because of a gun, man. When that when this society fully collapses. When his money's through, and you saw bringing these these troops, and all you you, you losers, you all right, is gonna see the elect in their glory, and you're just gonna get slaughtered, man, all right, because that's what you deserve. You deserve to die. You see, these it's a lot of people walking around that's supposed to be dead. You understand that's gonna die, but they're walking around full of pride because they're not dead and they're just bathing in wickedness. Especially these women. This is Zephaniah 3 and 19. Behold, at that time, I will undo all that afflict thee, and I will save her that halteth. Alright? And gather her that was driven out. And I will give them praise and fame in every land where they have been put to shame. And that ultimate praise and fame will be from Babylon the Great, because that's the, the place where we've been put to shame the most. Lord's will is edifying. And a shalom.